Hey guys, my name's George Holiday. Welcome to the very first Furs Back Friday. And I must admit something straight off. I, this was meant to be a live stream thing and it just didn't work. My laptop couldn't hack live streaming, videoing, posting it to YouTube at the same, just couldn't hack it. So what I've decided to do instead, which doesn't really make any difference because you're watching this in video form. What I've decided to do instead is to take all of your submissions, record this video, upload it, and it's there for you guys to just keep hold of forever and just post it up. So these are gonna be bi-weekly, so every other Thursday of the month so far to start with, to see how, how it goes. Um, and basically you guys are gonna submit songs. I'm gonna give you feedback on the songwriting, the arrangement, the production, the performance and, and mixing and mastering, like anything that kind of comes to mind. But I wanna give you guys some constructive feedback so that maybe the next time you jump into a song, there's some more to think about. And also if you've got time to carry on working on this song, then hopefully that's gonna be helpful for you as well. So. Without further ado, I've got my coffee, I've got my headphones, I'm just going to sit and listen to some music, so um, let's get right to it. I'm both excited and nervous. I don't know why, probably because I've got to give you guys some actual useful feedback. First off, we're going to kick off with an artist called Dylan Freestone, the song's called From Above. And I've been speaking to this chap, he loves Coldplay, he loves Nothing But Thieves and R.E.M., so he's going for that like... Uh, he's a piano player, so I know he's going for like atmospheric piano sound. Um, I guess with a good pop structure. So we'll be looking at structure. Um, we'll be looking at what the arrangement is saying, um, and certainly looking at the instrumentation as well. Um, I know Dylan's wanting to eventually have a band, either himself or be in a band, like as part of a band. So uh, let's see if this music reflects that and. Um, I'm excited to hear the arrangement on this one. If you are watching this and you want to give some constructive feedback, um, please do. That's the whole point of this video is to, to help one another, um, help each other make better music and ultimately achieve the goals that we all want to be making by making this music. So let's go right into it. Dylan Freestone, from above. Nice, drum beat. You can tell it's a logic beat or MIDI. Already I think that intro could be half the length. I'm just trying to work out if this is going to be an instrumental or not. So already we're 45 seconds into the song before there's even any vocals. So if we're looking at REM, Coldplay, Nothing But Thieves, you know, they're straight in. They'll have an intro of maybe like 10 to 15 seconds, like max, like 15 seconds is a huge intro. So I think maybe half of that first bit. And then when, it, when the music comes in with the piano, I'd ever have the piano coming straight in and have like a little swell or something as the intro have the piano melody coming straight in because it's good. I, I really like the eeriness of it, it's intriguing. I'm interested to see what else you're gonna do, how that's gonna develop. So I kind of like to hear that straight away. Um, and first impressions as well is, it'd be really cool to hear that beat either live with a real drummer or produced in a way that, like it sounds quite midi to me. Um, so it'd be cool to develop that uh, and make that kit sound real or intentionally electronic or a combination of the, of the both, of two. But yeah, 48 seconds, I think we can shorten that intro for sure. I say this, this song is released. So this is, this is f feedback on future songs, just for context. There's the Chris Martin. These are awesome, I love the melodies. I really wanted that to notch up 
a level. I, I feel like another layer needs to happen or maybe it would even be cool to like leave the bass out for all of the verse so that when the chorus happens or when this, I, this is either going to be a chorus or a pre-chorus, I'm not sure yet. Um, when, when there's a level up, you could add the bass. So thinking about layers, if you're thinking, I think it's good that the layers and textures that are there could be done with a band. I think that's important. That's your goal. Um, but I wonder if using layers more boldly would be a smart way to really establish those different sections. And I think as well, a real drummer would be able to up it a notch a little bit. Um, and if you didn't have a real drummer and you were doing it programmed, like you could add something. It could be a shaker. It could be like a distant tambourine um, to add some depth to it as well. Um, but I just wanted something to change then, a bit more. falsetto maybe you could do like an octave down or, or the same octave but rather than falsetto like if you can belt it as well but put the 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 really loud belty vocal in the distance i think could be really cool i think if it's in the distance it's belted like it can add a lot of power without taking over that really subtle you know falsetto front line that's taking the lead which i like and it adds to the eeriness it's, it's great <laughs> really tell if that's a piano or not but I, I'd love to hear that more up, for, up, the for, up the forefront in the forefront but then also you know play play around with those notes a little bit more like start start with something repetitive and then slowly move away and treat it almost like a solo but I think that could be half the length because we're two two and a half minutes in by now which would normally be like second chorus coming into like the bridge I say normally like I'm speaking in terms of pop and speaking in terms of like the whole Coldplay thing. But I do know that REM had quite long songs as well. So structure isn't hugely important, but I think what is important about the structure is how are you keeping people like locked in each time? And that to me, I think is super important. So either adding loads of flavor and spicy things like happening to, to if somebody's thinking about stopping the song or putting the next song, something else happens and they're like, oh, I'll just wait another minute. Oh, and, and then it's the end of the song. So I think that's something really important to keep in mind with this. I'm going to talk about the mixing at the end, but the panning is really cool, but they sound really dry, the vocals. It doesn't sound like there's much reverb or anything happening, so it'd be cool to hear more on that. Really blend it, pull it together a bit more.
Oh, why does it stop there? Is that me? Oh, it's me. Sorry. Cool texture. And a fade. Oh, a very abrupt fade at the end. So, first of all, I love the, the atmosphere of the track. The writing is cool. That melody is really, really cool. Um, definitely like can see the Coldplay influence in that. I think it's very, very cool. Um, lyrically, I think it'd be really cool to just like tap into um, some more descriptive. So you've got like, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how to describe it. So you're talking about um, feelings quite a lot, but there's no context of like where we are, like in terms of the feelings and like what's happening, like what are the smells, what are the touches, like what's really bringing people into that world. Um, and it's kind of nice to be broad sometimes so that people can paint their own picture. But I think setting, if you can still paint a setting and the song still be relatable. So you could, if you're painting a setting about like first thing in the morning, like everyone can then put their own stamp on, on their feelings first thing in the morning. But like, you know, a, 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 when you're talking about the sleep, I think you're saying to say good night. You know what what's ha what's happening? Like what's the t what's the air temperature like? Is it cold? Is it warm? Like can you feel your breath? Are you wrapped up in your du in, in your duvet sheets? Things like that, just to bring a bit more context, I think would make it less sort of passive and and make it more of a story. I think a lot of songs that um, have this kind of atmosphere in particular really are really good at painting a picture as well as painting a storyline. Um, so I think that'd be something worth looking into. In regards to the mix, um, I, I'd like to hear your vocals a bit more together and a lot more central um, so that the music kind of surrounds it and becomes more, um, you know, more of a setting around, around the vocals. Whereas I feel like the music's the main thing and then the vocals are kind of like panned and quite back and quite distant, which makes it for me quite hard to follow the lyrics and to really see the vocals as the forefront of the song, which I think they deserve to be. And then the final thing is just structure. I'd, I'd be really brutal with um, sections. So if it's double length, like just question, what's this doing for the song? And does it need to be, it do, is being double length adding anything to the song? And it could be double length if it's just adding like a huge build. If the song just built and built and built, which I think would also really work for this, like starting more minimal, then add the drums, then add the bass and slowly increase in that way. I think, um, you can have long sections if the if the end goal is just a slow, big increase, but then you need every section to really pick up to have that real big build. Um, and because this is kind of like staying on the same tone throughout the song, which is absolutely fine, I think those sections um, could be halved just to keep people hooked, like keep people interested and keep people there. Um, but nicely done, man. Great track. I am going to move on to Patrick Kearns now with Golden, Rough Mix 1. So... This is a rough mix, so I won't go too much. Well, actually, no, I'll give a bit of feedback on the mix because uh, it sounds like you're at a stage where that'll be potentially helpful. So we'll do a bit of that um, and we'll listen through and see where we're at. I think Patrick is an R&B artist. Um, he's got a great plan. He's been working really hard at like learning the industry and how the industry works. And now it's music time to put all of that learning into action. And I do think the best way to learn stuff like that is just to make music and release it. Um, so here we go. I think this is Patrick's second single. Will be. Okay. Old school, R&B. Where's Bruno? Okay. I love you. Oh. Don't wanna pretend now. No. Nice. We're sending all these girls away. It's easy to chase, but what I've got with you is what I've got with you is say goodbye to my own. All right, before we go any further, that intro again, I think it'll be half the length. Like, it's really nice, but just just give it to me, don't make me wait. I want it. <laughs> um, the, the second thing is that what I've got with you is what I've that got with you is. Like put a put a little slowdown on it or something. Make it sound more intentional. I thought maybe you'd cut a swear word out and it was a clean mix, but it was just a rough cut. Um, and then it happened again, and I was like, "There's a potential thing to turn this into more of a feature." Um, so make that intentional, so I don't think it's a mistake. Cause it's easy to ch 
chains But what I've got with you is What I've got with you is Say goodbye to nice my textures. own ways Ain't got time for none of that Cause when I'm lying at home or on the stage It's a lonely feeling, girl Tell me your thoughts Cause I'm racking my brain Ask me a question Do you feel the same? Nice All right, so before we drop into the chorus, I'm going to tease you. Before we drop into the chorus, one thing I'm noticing straight up, like straight away, is to do with the mixing. Um, the kit hi-hats are wide, but so is the Fender Rhodes. They're fighting against each other. Um, the kit, I think, should be more central with the vocal. These kind of tracks as well, you want the kit like in your face. Like You want the kit to be leading. Like Listen to Anderson Pack. Like His drums are like way up front. Um, and I think also there's a good bit of use of reverb and stuff on the drums um, to add a bit of depth. But I think choose what you want to be forefront, choose what you want to be dry or a bit more dry um, just to add that group. Like I'm wanting more groove at this point. I'm wanting it to, to like the chords are nice. The layers are good. Um, I think the Fender Rhodes could, could have a splash more like reverb, like set that into the mix a bit more. It feels a bit dry and a bit sort of lifeless at the, lifeless at the moment. Um, I can tell that the tops have been rolled off probably to like stop it from getting away in the vocals, get in the way of the vocals. But I think it's, you either want to go one or the other, like make it nice and bright, find its space. So if you've got vocals in the middle, it doesn't matter if the roads are just as bright as the vocals, if the roads are then panned really wide. But at the minute it just sounds a bit dull, uh, which would be fine if it was like a background texture thing. But like at this point we're at here, it's a leading instrument. So that should be sounding like rich and crisp and love you. Don't wanna pretend now. No, sending all these girls away. Cause it's easy to chase, but what I've got with you is I think some layers on that kit as well. It's sounding like it is it is central and it's it's front, but it, it should it could be more front and have a few more layers, like where are the claps at? Um, maybe getting some more industrial snares like layered up like just give it some beef like I want it without sounding offensive like this sounds almost like um, the first kind of ideas for the drums and you've not yet put layers like I want layers I want I want this every layer that's in here like all the pads you've got that really nice sort of like um, oh, what's the word uh, it's, it's not a saw pad but it's it's quite a bright sounding like a tacky synth um, and it would be nice to have almost like a bell that's quite distant, just so that that, that one synth has layers and it has, has weight to it. You don't need to add different melodies, like keep the, keep the chords and stuff the same, but just layer those sounds just to make them like more. Blah, 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 blah. Golden. And you can hear that hi-hat as well. I'm gonna go back a bit because I, I wanna hear that drop properly, but the hi-hat, just too far pan. I'd have that more central, like slightly to a side maybe, um, but just have it a bit more central. Narrow that width down, and then everything can be decorating the drums around. I want some harmonies though. Don't Give me some harmonies. So that being the chorus, I think it could be stronger in some ways. I'm, the melodies are awesome, but the melodies almost flow like a verse would. So um, that very end bit there, I think, could be the hook. Ooh, let me love you. And then give Don't it again. Wanna pretend now. And then again. Let me love you now. Yeah. That just to ha just to give people a hook, like get something. So it doesn't matter if the chorus flows like that, but then if you've got like an after chorus bit that just that's where people come together, you know, this Don't bit. Now. And then again, ah. it's even full set with. It. 
then back into the verse. Again, we've got a bit of a section here that more could happen. Same here. Yeah. So we've got like 20 seconds of kind of nothing happening. Um, I'd do the potentially like a double for it. And then you've got this section. And then into the verse. Dang. Second verse there. Um, also with this this Rhodes, it would be nice to hear it like less um, MIDI. There's a feature in uh, Logic that can humanize piano a bit more. And it just kind of like changes the timings a little bit. Um, just to, it sounds very quantized and um, programmed at the moment. Maybe again, layer it with some other sounds, like another keyboard sound that's maybe not even like a, an organic piano. I'm liking this though, no complaint. Just advice. Love you. Yeah. Don't wanna pretend now. No, sending all these girls away. Love it. Cause it's easy to chase, but what I've got with you is golden. And I love you in my world. Yeah. Makes it so Harmonies good. Day, man. No one's ever got with you is golden. And I love you. Easy to chase, but what I've got with you is Harmonies. golden. I think this section rather than dropping down should be doubly hard like bass levels up drums like a fill into that don't want to pretend now you better believe what I'm saying you better believe like more of that I want it big this is the bit where I'm like get to the choir in there and hide it despise it I try to fight it and hide it despise it like a choir full of that would be sick um i think just this ending feels like it drifts off and it's like i like I, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like it just drifts off. Um, I think it that's cool, that, that's fine. You could have like the last four bars being like... Like you could have the last four bars like this or something. And that's cool, but I think like set that, it needs setting up to be intentionally that. Does that make sense? Um, great track though, like loads. Like I, I, wish, I, I wish we could sit down on this tune. <laughs> um, it just needs Derulo on it as well. You sound like Jason Derulo. For a white guy, bro, you're killing it. <laughs> right. Charlotte Jones, Ghost. She says um, in the email, she said something along the lines of, this is uh, a new song with awfully played piano. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> um, I didn't have any other context with this song. Um, I assume this is gonna be released for this year. Um, no idea what to expect. Um, I know Charlotte has followed my Instagram for a little while. I added her when she sent this through. Um, so I haven't checked out any of her content. Um, one thing I would love to do in future feedbacks is like get more context of like what else is happening in your world. Um, so any of you guys that have submitted this week, submit again next week and we'll, we'll look through. But, you know, let me know. Maybe you guys don't think that's even necessary, but to have a bit of context on where these songs are being placed, like wh who are you as an artist and what else is happening in your world. I think that could be a really cool thing. Um, but I don't know much about Charlotte Jones at all, which I'm excited about because I think this is going to be a great way to find out more.
All right, first of all, before anything happens, don't worry if you're bad at piano. I'm not saying shot. Char- sorry, that sounded like I'm saying Charlotte's bad at piano. I mean, yeah, like the it, the pedal can come up more between chords and things like that. So definitely work on that. Um, but what I was going to say is the most important thing is that you guys find ways to get all of your ideas out. And Charlotte, if this is your way of getting your ideas out, like totally cool. Like if you're going to work with producers and stuff in the future, that's where they come in. That's where all of this changes. So if, if that's a concern of yours, don't be concerned. If it gets the idea down, and we'll hear the melodies in a moment, if it gets the idea down, that's all, that's, that's all that really matters. Trust. Charlotte. Don't ignore me not today. Oh, that low vibrato. Delicious. Can you just communicate? I'm trying to get through to you, but I don't know what to say. I was going to say then, on the third time round, it would have been cool to hear something different, but that's only because I'm listening to it in that sense if that makes sense I don't think that does make sense it's only because I'm listening to it with the like the mindset of like what could we change on this um, but I don't want to like you went up and it was Tell good I liked it if you need space. get that vibrato out mm. love don't it don't ignore me not today can you just The lyrics and the mood fit beautifully. Cause how we gonna fix this if we don't talk? I'm feeling like I barely know you at all. Cause all you do is leave me So at this stage, we're like a minute and 10 in, which is, which is fine. Um, one thing I've noticed is I've heard the note, ah, I've heard that note a lot at the moment. So just maybe end, like you've switched up where the melody goes really nicely, um, but maybe just looking at where that ends could just add that, add enough difference that by a minute and 10 in, you know, people are still, still hooked on that melody. Um, so have a tweak with things like that. Maybe. Did you fall out of love? Was I not enough? If you know how you feel, could you just keep it real? Why don't you pick up your phone anymore? I just want to know. I'm wondering if the piano could, rather than the piano being in the same place all the way through, like that first chorus would be really nice if you just played it really high up on the piano. So really high register, just move everything up like an octave, don't do any like bass notes um, and just have it super delicate. And I think in the recording process, like being really close to your mic will just make this absolutely delicious because I will feel like you're literally here like singing it to me. Um, and, and for the emotion of that, I think that's going to be really important. And you can still have loads of reverb on it, but if you're like really up front, I think you could have a good play with the reverbs then. So maybe on that first chorus, you could make it quite close. I'd be interested to know your thoughts on, on how much you want to develop this, because this works really nice as a piano. But like adding a vocoder on that chorus, that high piano and then a beautiful warm vocoder would just be like next level. Like almost James Blake kind of vibes. That's what I'm hearing for production so far. I'm not here. Go by, I'm still alone. Or you can even have like a. I'm sad waiting by the phone. But with a filter on it that's like really distant, so it's like. Boom. I'm wondering if you will ever let me know if you'll yeah. stop being 
ghost of my home. Girl can sing. Did you fall out of love? And I think that first note as well into the chorus. Did you fall down love? Like just to level it up straight from the off, just so you know it's bang, chorus is here. Might be harmonies you could do that with. Did you fall out of love? Was I not enough? Yeah. You don't know how I feel Cause I'm just trying to heal I would be cautious that that end bit sounds like Ocean Eyes. Oh, so nice. Um, so maybe... Maybe play around with that melody just to steer you away. You've got a similar vibe with it. I can tell that's probably like a big influence and reference for this song. Um, to see how much you can pull that away. Maybe get some backing vocals there. Like driver's license where the crier comes in. Nice. I don't think it needs that piano bit at the very end. Um, I think just the ghost of me would be really nice. I think because like ghost of me, like you could play on that a lot more, like have some um, almost like haunting um, drone sounds, like just really distant in the background. Um, work with choirs with like a lot of reverb, like put it into a church in terms of the reverb or a cathedral, like bring on that ghostly kind of vibe. Um, I think minimal is the way to go for this, but I think some really filtered off drums, and by filtered I mean like no high frequencies, so it all sounds like muffled. So it's something like... <laughs> Like just in the distance, they're really subtle, just to keep the drive there. Um, I don't know how that sounded with a microphone. It sounded good in the room, but I don't know how it sounded with a microphone. But like just to keep a bit of movement there, I think would be great. And I think certainly just really establishing sections with your voice. I want to hear your voice like go places a bit more because you've clearly got like a stunning vibrato on you. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that's useful. Um, I, I want to hear another version of that song when it when it gets moving. <laughs> right, we're going to move on to Liam Jones now. Uh, Too young to trust. Ending solo number three. Um, from the conversation we had in the email, I think this is like towards the end of like the mixing kind of stage. So um, let's see where we're at. Textures are great. Stereo field. Chords beautiful. My hands are frozen, but I'm too scared to let you go. I hear the James Arthur. I can see past my emotions. I'm drinking on till I'm on the phone. And I'm calling you. So don't tell me you love me if you don't mean it. Cause I'm too broken to try and heal it now. Arrangements for you. And I'm tired of healing now. Don't you know I'm too cold to love, too young to trust, too bad to see I'm not enough. No, I'm too cold to love, too young to trust, too bad to see I'm not enough. And I know this time is different for you, losing touch you can't afford to know. We're both great great start like structure was great it kept me hooked and um, we're at the end of the chorus at one minute 18 like there was no point where i wanted to switch off because there was just new ideas all the time i definitely think vocal layers is the way for this um i think that chorus needs like stacks i mean like stacks more vocals um double tracked vocals um harmonies on all the vocals uh and it, they don't even need to be like in your face harmonies they can be right at the back 
but it just needs a lot more. Everything just needs a lot more weight. I think the layers could just be bigger. And uh, I think a, a really solid, I think a mix would do, like another mix would do a lot for this um, in terms of bringing everything to the forefront like the bass I want that to really drive me through more and, and I want to feel that when it's in the chorus and a lot more transitions and things so I think transitions um, into the chorus some like I don't know so it needs some more like sub low level kind of activity going on um, and I think the drum production production could do with some more layers as well like that snare on its own at the minute just feel it doesn't feel like enough to really drive me so some like Wide claps. I'm left to face all my demons every time I hear your name. And each morning I wake it's a mix on that vocal we'll just warm it up bring it forward the no. delivery is great so don't tell me you love me if you don't mean it cuz i'm that bit would be nice to have a bit of a layer but it levels up an empty an bed, would be nice. this filled with shame no so don't tell me you love me if you don't mean it cuz i'm too broken to try Yeah, it just needs more happening, I think, there. Like, the build just needs to be bigger, like, in my face, like, boof, 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 um, being shot down by tom drums. Um, I also think on that drop, something needs to happen. Um, like, there's not even symbols on that at the minute, so have a look at that. Which is just a reverb thing. It's not too busy, which is good. I like that. Don't tell me, baby, no. Don't tell me you love me. That guitar is in exactly the same range as the vocals, so I'm, it's fighting. I'm like a little bit, like, what? Wait, where am I? Where am I focusing? Um, so I like it. I like the fact that guitar comes in there. I think it should just be distant at this point. I think it should be reverbed or echoed in the distance at the moment. If you don't mean it, no. That it could level up there at the end and do another double at the end. Um, I think also the vocal because it becomes repetitive. Choir the heck out of that. Um, too young, too hot. What are the lyrics again? And whilst that's happening, guitar solo can be just shredding at the front, like don't thin it out with any effects, or if you're gonna have effects, just like big sweeping delays and just have it in your face, like, Vocals go to the background, guitar, front and centre, bang. Big! I want it more! Give me more! Where is it? <laughs> and you've got time for it as well. You've got another 20 seconds before it's 3 minutes 20, you know, 15 seconds or so. So if, we were, if you were to double that... If you were to double that, it would be... Let's have a look how long it would be. 320. Boys, it was made to be a 320 song. <laughs> Um, hope that's helpful. Great song. Um, 
I would listen side by side with, with artists like um, 1975. Use those as your reference. Like you want to be able to listen to that on Spotify and then listen to your song and be like, yeah, those guys match. They work well. So um, in terms of the mix, definitely, I think bringing that out. Uh, it feels like everything's just a little bit distant. I can't work out which stuff is meant to be like here, like right in the front of my head when I'm listening on headphones and which stuff is, is distant and, and depth. Um, so I think that it feels like too safe. It feels like you've kind of made everything safe and then it's just been like, yeah, that's, that's it. So Liam, great job. Love the tune. Um, love the arrangement. Love the, it just, it could just, I, I think it's like 75, 80% there on how much could be there. If that makes sense. Um, great tune. Like it. Dig it. Next one. Izzy Adams, um, who I am mentoring now if you guys want personal mentors and any stuff like this um we're doing monthly calls so you can, we've got 90 day program basically where you can get a call every month and we work out and set you i basically like tell you things to go and do um and, and work on and then each month we we come back see what you've done you've had time to like flesh things out and work things out we smash out a load of ideas and um it is it is the first one of that mentor program so here we go <laughs> Take a pen, write it down Let go of the ceiling that's pushing you down Rectify your possibilities You were painted with potential all over your face, it's true I love the lyrics, They're literally painting You're not just another failed kid. Yeah, I like it clever way to tell emotion. I'm a walking contradiction, right. a constant science fiction. I wanted to level up that. Words in my head speak like rhymes and stay it. Yeah, so you can cage my thoughts. thoughts, I don't want them. Go serve them up to the front man. It's raining. That hi-hat i think could drop out a lot earlier um it felt like it was just a loop that you'd forgotten to cut the end bit out um i think just enjoy that just pause for a moment um i'll see whereabouts I don't want them. probably about here Go serve them up to the front man. Oh, maybe this one that feels like a little bit of a gap as well like it's a bit of a time filler i wonder if the that drum here could happen here. Them up to the front, man. Chorus. You know, so cut that bar out maybe. And also, I'd look at the timing of everything so it doesn't feel like um, everything's really, really tight timing wise. That's, that's something I'm just noticing in terms of the arrangement and the instrumentation. It's raining gold. I've never felt so sad. I think that's a real kit. It's it? raining gold. I've never hurt so bad. Cause I can't deny you. I've been fighting for my life. They're goldfish thoughts. Long and short. The drum arrangement at the minute when that kicked in I kind of feel like that should just stay for a little while like as a listener the drums become almost subliminal after a while um you just kind of roll with it and it, it kind of keeps things but as soon as I was starting to roll with it like they were then gone again and I was like okay <laughs> so where are we because I thought we were like in the verse or in the chorus or or whatever like I, I felt like that was moving a bit more so I'd maybe look at just not being afraid to like set that in now, like the drums are here, they're here to stay, like keep them moving. I don't think they are real drums. They're goldfish thoughts, long and short. These confines so yeah, yeah. of my mind could never be fraught. It circled, it circled, it circled again. It circled, it circled, it circled again. I am trapped. 
again, it's like come down again. So as soon as I'm starting to get somewhere as a listener, like as soon as I'm, imagine being at a gig, right? And you're listening to this song and you're like, you're starting, like most people just want to move and sway with the, with the music and it's starting to move, starting to get somewhere. And again, it's gone. And you're like, ah, and then again, it's gone. You know, it's, it's kind of like, sometimes that can be um, utilized in a, in a, in a good way so like when you come out to the bridge for example breaking down into the bridge is is a good time to maybe pull it back but even then i'd have some kind of distant drums like if your intention is to use drums the drums should be like pulling people through the track all the way and if it's a bit stop start um it can just feel a little bit detached as a lit for a listener by the things that i have thought it's raining gold i've never felt so sad great melody. it's raining gold I've never heard so bad cuz I can't deny it I've been fighting for my life I want to be free great ideas i think the main thing this song's missing is just sitting in to a groove you know it just needs to sit somewhere for a length of time that i can really get into it and i wouldn't be afraid of like just stopping sections and cutting things um like every now and then like a bar before the chorus i think would be good um and the middle eight i think just having those jungle drums there would be kind of good um but every time it was like i just wanted some symbols and a bit more of a straight beat so i wouldn't overthink things um because it becomes distracting to the to the lyrics and you've got some great lyrics in there some great melodies that i think like um you can play on like raining gold i think you know a chant can be there um again i, I love using crowd vocals for this kind of thing because it kind of as a listener kind of almost gives you an invite to sing along at those points so um i would personally look at that and just see if you can you know, what, how are you going to keep the drive and, and movement going? And I just wouldn't overthink things too much. If you listen to like Florence and the Machine, for example, um, if you listen to each of their sections, there's there's kind of a lot happening without a lot happening, if you know what I mean. Like the energy comes from uh, layers more than it comes from like clever ideas. And I think you can almost overthink things sometimes too much. So even with the chord progression, um, like off the top of my head, I can't think of what the chords are after a first listen for like the main chorus that sits in and there's really like the very end there there's some really clever moments um which i think is important for you to keep in izzy because i think um that's going to be your identity in a way um but i think on all the main sections then you know just settling into something that just feels familiar so if you've got a lot of this tension like where's the release happening and the release for me was going to be in the drums and then it, it kind of didn't quite reach that full full uh, potential to like really build there you know so I wouldn't be afraid to bring drums in earlier um, and just really establish like the beat and the groove and then use the other instrumentation like the bass you know, I noticed there was some nice movement there on the bass like use those moments as the fla the, the colour the flavour as, as you go throughout the track um, maybe more so than the drums I think the the nature of the drums being like that jungle almost tribal kind of feel you know typically tribal music is so like continuous um, and that's what's so infectious about it because then the vocals come in and you know they start chanting or doing something or somebody else brings in another instrument or even just the clave will like slightly change slightly but as a listener you really tune into that one little difference it really highlights it so that's what i'd say on that but great like the foundations are there for a really great song raining gold like the subject i think super cool um i love how you've created metaphors for what you're talking about and what you're meaning um yeah i just think it needs that 
support and that drive. It needs to all be about the vocals this song. Because the lyrics and the melodies are so good, like keep the focus there. Don't keep people distracted by it, by the instrumentation. Keep it simple. Keep the layers and you'll be there. You'll be there. But great song, great song. Right, two more. This is going longer than I thought. So I thought maybe seven was bang on, but maybe seven's too much. <laughs> Oh, blooming out, that was horrible. I played all the songs at the same time. Awful mistake. Right, Dom Khaleesi. Um, I know that Dom's producing this stuff himself and he said that he's still sort of feeling quite new with the production side of things and that's what he wants most feedback on. Um, I've heard some of Dom's stuff before. His voice is great. His writing's great. So let's just make sure that that production supports that. Like a cheap shot straight to my blind side I caved in, gave you my whole night. Vocal. But even the river runs gone by the morning sun. I'm racing time. From Broadway to the runway. I did a kick there. Of a Sunday. <laughs> Get me moving. A spot, try to be one o'clock. I love the simp there. It's cool. Mind. Good movement. Cause wanting something I I can never grasp. I can love with a broken heart. Faith, the guy that put this great. thing to rest all the words on set. Baby, I'll do my part. If you want me to be what you need me to be, baby, don't turn around in time. Move so fast, so kiss me slowly. Slowly, the warning. That little bit there, arrangement wise, just confused me. The chorus is sweet. The chorus is great. Want a bit more low end in there um, in terms of mix and things. And um, I almost wanted to hear some like backing vocals of some kind there just to support that main vocal. You've got all this stuff going on, uh, or you've got this huge sense of space, but the vocal feels like really teeny and tiny like at the front. Um, not it, like it stands out. It's not that that's a problem, but I just want some weight. Even just a double vocal would be really nice there. Um, but just something subtle um, that just makes it a little bit more about the vocals, you know. Um, and this very end bit here was just a little bit confusing in terms of I, I liked that it ended like a beat early. There. So fast, so kiss me slowly. Slowly. I feel like there's just two bars too many, you know? Um, and maybe that... Slowly, ignore the warning. Maybe the slowly can be on its own rather than having the, the percussion there. So it feels like it just ends the section rather slowly. than transitioning. So just... Slowly, ignore the warning. Cause now I'm worn out. I chased a trail, let my heart out. But even the river runs, the river still runs. Cause wanting something I can't have, I can never grasp. I can love with a broken heart. I gotta put this thing to rest all the words on set. Baby, I'll do my part. If you want me to be what you need me to be, baby, don't turn. Melody's awesome. Carries me all the way through the chorus. Move so fast, so kiss me slowly, slowly. That transition one just felt a little bit, it could t be tidied a little bit, I think. I can't a little bit tidy. I think it's the high hat. And also, like, I feel like this just needs a few more, like, just spaces. So, like, there, it'd be nice just to have the, boof, that great sound you've got on its own. Rather than the toms leading through. Yeah. Just 
got vocals, lots of vocals. So kiss me slowly, slowly. Yeah, cool. Really, really sick track. I think the main thing for me is like just more on the mix. It just it felt like there wasn't much happening like in the middle range of the frequencies. Everything's really clear and really nice, but I just wanted some more like oomph behind it, a lot of it. So um again it felt like a very safe mix. It didn't feel like it had like some boldness in the energy. Um I could hear everything, but I think a lot of frequencies have been cut out so that it, everything has its own space. But it means that it's kind of taken a bit of the life and energy out of some of the sounds. Um like the drums for example, like they sound super compressed and very distant. So when I want the punch of it, the punch has been removed a little bit. That's all I'd say with things like that. Like this song is so close to being to being finished personally. Um, obviously, all my opinions here. Um, and I just think the end of the choruses, like the slowly thing, could just be more clear. I think it either needs to come out more or it needs to stay higher and be more defined. Because um, I don't know where the end is. I don't get that final, right, resolve um so that's that's all i think for that one and i also would probably end on so kiss me slowly slowly i'll probably end there but it works it still it still works like i'm being super critical with with this feedback um i think it's a great song everything builds i'd love to hear that kick drum a little bit for, uh, more at the beginning what's the kick drum doing in the choruses i gotta put this thing to rest all the way if you have that kind of like from Broadway to the runway like could that come back in the final chorus maybe or would that be a good driver through the chorus if I can ever crash I can love with a broken heart I gotta put this thing to rest all the words on set maybe the final one that would be something fun to play with get the final one a really big drive and also because the drums are doing like all this tom stuff like maybe a kick through all the choruses would really really drive that home um i don't know if you want to try that but that's some of my suggestions but dom really really cool track man really really cool track um final track then charlotte spooner um take off your mask take off your mask it's not how the song goes i'm sure um so charlotte sent this through she said that she's got some strings on it and she'd love to maybe consider like whether to put real drums on it and things like that so um let's take a listen and uh, see what we can see what we can come up with this is a message for nice cool. humankind it's time to free your mind This is a question for one and all Why are you keeping yourself so small? One thing I'd just say very quickly, um, I think a mix will do a lot of the things that I'm about to say. Um, but I think little things like those vocals, tightening all of those things up, um, putting some tuning on it. Like tuning isn't an insult. Tuning is for tightening stuff and, and making everything like super together. If everything's tuned and everything's like bang on timing, it, it, there's a togetherness that just can't be explained with it. Um, obviously like loose is fine sometimes, but I think things like that need to be really defined so that um, cause there's no other percussion and things happening. It just keeps things moving, you know, um, it almost adds the rhythmic value. Um, and also I'd be interested to know what mic you recorded it on. Um, it feels like it's picking up. I don't know if it's the mic placement or the room or whatever. Like it just feels like it's picking up some unwanted sounds. Um, so I'd maybe look at how that's positioned. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's kind of dry and reverbed at the same time. So you've got like really dry up and close vocal, which I really like. And then there's some reverb, but I'm not sure which way you want it to go. It's like, do you want it to be reverby or do you want it to be really dry? That's, that's a low battery warning. So take off your mask. You don't have to ask. Just do it if it feels right. So take off your mask. You don't have to ask, just to be free your mind. 
take off your mask after you've asked, is this a fast? Nice. So take off your mask, you don't have to ask, just do it. If it feels right, feels right. I don't know if that section needed to be as long as that. The repetitive lyrics feels more of like a towards the end of a song chant. One thing I think so far about this song is that it feels like da 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 is like the main note. Everything comes back to that note. It would be nice to maybe start or end in like less um, predictable ways. I don't mean for that to be offensive again. I need to stop worrying that I'm offending you guys. This is helpful information. Inside of fear, can you feel it near? So take off your mask, you don't have to ask, just do it if it feels right. So take off your mask, oh, the road. you don't Tapping have in. to ask, just do it, free your mind. Take off your mask after you Asked, is this a fast? So take off your mask, you don't have to ask, just do it. If it feels right, feels right. If your gut strongly suggests that this isn't likely to be true, if your gut strongly suggests that this. I like the repetitiveness of like certain sections like coming back. I like that there's familiarity that keeps happening. Um, I wonder if the instrumentation could just pull it a bit different. I want to sort of really feel those sections differently. And I think maybe, I think there's two ways to go in terms of the drums that you were saying, Charlotte. And I think one is if you're going to go for drums, then everything has to up. You need to like have bass, like electric guitars, strings. like. I, the, the only way to achieve this in big form would be like, you know, 90 instruments, like layers and layers and layers, choir, uh, all of that, uh, which would sound epic, but I'm not sure if that's your intention. I like the sort of acoustic, um, innocent kind of vibe with this. Um, so I think keeping it as it is, but really focusing on the vocal arrangement. I think would probably be the easiest fix. And I think the drums do sound great. I just think the mix needs to make them sound a bit more full. Isn't likely. And I'm wondering if maybe cajon is the right thing. Like maybe some like bells or tambourines or something else. Some other kind of percussion might be better. To be true, if your God strongly suggests that this isn't likely to be true. Well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna choose? It's time to take a step, every woman and man. The power, power is in your hands. Nice. Love the strings. I think these can come in earlier. I don't think we want to wait to the end for these. I don't miss have a real big listen to a lot of Irish music. What happens there, like, there's the choir. Bring that in earlier as well. Beautiful, I love those strings. Um, I think something I see quite a lot with songwriters is, or, or with production in particular and arrangement is that wait, everything waits to the end to happen. Um, I don't think it should be that way because if you've lost people a minute in because they don't think the song's gonna develop and have anything, have everything that it, want, it needs for them to be captured by the song, they're not gonna wait to the very, very end of the song for to, to hear that because they don't know that that's necessarily coming and people don't skip like to the end of the song, they just skip the whole song. Um, so you, you miss a beautiful opportunity there. And to me, the track first felt like it was all there 
when all that choir was there and all the strings were there. So bringing that in earlier, you can play with the layers. Um, I'd almost have that kind of a layer on all the choruses and then at the very end, add some more percussion or add another layer of vocals or another layer of strings or, you know, you can still up it in terms of the, the dynamics and arrangement in that kind of a sense. So I think that's ultimately what I would say back to that. Um, I hope that's helpful. Um, I hope all of this feedback is helpful. Um, oh, Charlotte, another thing. I think the mix is going to be a big thing. Like the the the, the cajon sounds really um, tinny and like all of the weight and beauty has been removed from it. I'm not sure if that's the microphone you've used. The microphone sounds like it hasn't captured like a load of dynamic ranges. So maybe having a look at that. And I think the same with your vocal. I don't know if you've used like a 58 or like a, 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 a non-condenser microphone. I think you need a condenser microphone to really bring out the beauty in your voice and the full sound. And um, if you have used one, um, I think there's probably an, another microphone that would better suit your voice and um, just to really bring out just the warmth in it all. What I love though is the rawness of it. Like, I don't think, I don't know if you would, it was done to a click or not. Um, I'm a big fan of doing clicks on everything. And even if it's a ballad and it's it's more free in the movement, like being clever with the, the metronome is a better way because as a listener, you kind of still want to, you just want to lock into something. And there's a few sections in that that it felt really free. And I liked that. And I think having one little section that's really free is really nice. But then for the whole song to potentially have a little bit, that might be um, might be a bit detrimental to the to the pace of the song. So... Uh, I like the rawness. I don't think you need to lose that. I don't think, unless you're going to like bring an orchestra into it and full band and everything, I think keeping the rawness is going to be important. So maybe, yeah, checking out some Irish music references and just hear like, how does that sound with the mix and the arrangement? What else could maybe you add in there that would be really nice? I could really hear like a really nice uh, banjo or a mandolin or something like that in this would be really, really nice. So um, yeah, keep, keep plugging those layers, I think is the best uh, conclusion for that. But um Right, that's it, back to over over here. <laughs> All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, quite a long video, but I think if you've like tuned into one or two little bits, I do recommend listening to the whole thing because there's so many different types of genres and on every song there was kind of something slightly different. So even though it's about somebody else's song, you might be able to really relate it to your music. Um, I'm going to be doing this again in two weeks' time, so start sending over your songs. Email is team at madeontheroad.co.uk and I will save your songs ready to go for the next show. If I've missed you out, it might be because I've lost your email. So if you were expecting your song to be in this, I'm hugely sorry. Uh, pop me another email and I'll, I'll doubly check. This is the first one for me. So please do leave a comment. Let me know down below what you think of this um, video. And until next time, guys, take care. Stay safe. And remember, I said that the... I said that backwards. Stay safe, look after each other, and remember, never stop creating. <laughs>